Hey guys, um, today I'll be doing the summary for the uh, chapter of the uh, topic on place values. Uh, first, we need to go over some place values. Um, when we did a video on uh, uh, identifying place values, we said that the real have problems such as um, uh, uh, changing the decimal numbers into fractions. Uh, let's write one down, um, 0 0.60. Now, in order to do this, we need to change the decimal point into a 1, and then count the numbers after the decimal point, and change those into zeros. And then, uh, and then we look at the uh, no, uh, the number after the decimal point. In this case, sixty. Write it on top, and then write the place value on the bottom, hundred. We know that zero point sixty is actually sixty out of hundreds. And now let's go over some comparing decimals. When we did the video, we said that we get problems such as zero point nine, and need to compare that with uh, zero point. 99. To do this, we need to change uh, each decimal number into a fraction. Remember, change the decimal point into a 1, number digits after the decimal point into zeros. In this case, we have a 9 tenths. Do the same over here. Decimal point into a 1, number digits after the decimal point into zeros. 99 over 100. Now, this is kind of unusual. We get uh, tenths and we get hundreds. To make this more simpler, all we need to do is make the tenths into a hundred because we cannot make the hundreds into tenths. We need to just add a zero in front of the ten and do the same thing on top, add a zero onto the nine. So make that a ninety over a hundred and a ninety-nine over a hundred. We know that we cannot compare the hundred and hundred because they're the same numbers, but we can compare the ninety and ninety-nine. Therefore, ninety-nine is greater. And to apply the same formula over here, zero point ninety-nine is greater than zero point nine. Let's do some ordering decimals. When we did the video, we said that uh, we usually get problems uh, such as 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.16, uh, 0 0.61, um, and um, 0 0.06. And we need to change, and we have to put the in, in order. To do this, we need to change all of these into fractions. Remember. Change the decimal point to a 1, number just after the decimal point to zeros. Make that a 6 tenths. Let me just go ahead and do this one. Remember. And we get a 16 over hundreds. And we get a 6 over tenths. And we get a 6 out of hundreds. Um, again, we have a uh, different place values. We have a tenths and we have a hundreds. Uh, to understand this better, all we need to do is change the tenths back into the hundreds. To do this, just add a zero in front of the ten, and do the same thing on top of on top of the uh, ten, and put a zero and make that into a sixty. So we have sixty over hundreds. Do the same thing on this tenths. Put a zero, add a zero on top too, and we get a uh, sixty over hundred as well. So now we can put it in vertical form to understand this better. Remember, always put the least to greatest. So six hundredths will go first, and they'll come sixteen over hundred, and then it will be sixty over hundred, and then it will be sixty uh, over hundred again. This here is called the least to greatest form. To go um, greatest to least, all you need to do is reverse them, and so it will be 60 over 100, 60 over 100, 16 over 100, and 6 over 100. This will be called the greatest to least form. Uh, stick around for more videos. See you guys next time. Bye.